This is High Stakes. Welcome to High Stakes, TV's only inter-college test of knowledge. This is the show where big risks mean big rewards. It's the ultimate test of knowledge, quick thinking, strategy and risk taking. Can our contestants cope under the pressure inside the challenge zone? Well, let's find out and meet the teams. This week from Southampton, we have Bitten Park College. Could you please introduce yourselves? Hello, my name is Jade and I'm the team captain. Hello, Hello my name is Chris. Hello, Chris. Hello, my name is Will. Hello, Will. I'm Emma. Hello, Emma. Chris, I understand that you did some travelling about four years ago. Yes. I uh, whizzed around the world in 80 days. Whizzed around the world in 80 days? Yes, literally. OK, fantastic. Was it, did you plan to do it in 80 days? No, was it, it, was, it, was, it was a complete accident. We, we just got back and found, we looked at our passport, like, oh, we'll be around the world in 80 days. OK, Didn't well, that was to. nice. <laughs> did you write a book about it? Unfortunately not, no. Maybe when you're older. And there's a possibility. Got some more time on your hands. <laughs> and facing them today, <laughs> we have St Vincent College from Gosport. Who's on your team today, please? Hi, I'm Josh. I'm the team captain. I'm 17 years old. Hi, I'm Emma, and I'm 17 years old. Hello, Emma. Hi, I'm Anna Marie, and I'm 25 years old. Hello, Anna Marie. <laughs> Hi, I'm Michael, and I'm 17 years old. Hello, Mike. Josh, I understand you had a, a run-in with a burglar. What happened there? Uh, yes, um, I was under the impression I was home alone. I was studying for my GCSEs or something or other. Um, but I heard these no noises from downstairs, scratching and doors, that sort of thing. Um, like any other sane person, I grabbed my, my didgeridoo and made my way downstairs. <laughs> like any sane person, mm, yeah. To combat the burglar with um, Australian instruments. Um, but lo and behold, when I confronted the, um, the burglar, it was indeed my dad um, who managed to dodge the quote fatal blow to the head which I was aiming to deliver. <laughs> uh, I'm glad he dodged it. Yeah. Okay, yeah, I'm sure he would have been too keen on that. Um, terrific. Well, let's see how you do in the game. Hopefully it's not quite so violent. So, before we start, you'll need some points to wager. So let's begin with round one's quick fire. To earn these points, the teams will have 20 seconds to answer as many quick fire questions as they can. Each correct answer will win your team five points. Bitten Park College, you'll be starting first. You have 20 seconds to name as many countries as you can in Europe. Your time starts now. Germany, um, Germany, Germany France, Italy, France, Spain, Spain, Spain UK, UK, uh, Belarus, Ireland, Ireland, Belarus, Belarus, Finland, 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 Finland Iceland, 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 Norway, Norway Sweden, Sweden, Denmark, Denmark um, Croatia, Croatia, Croatia Cyprus, 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 Romania, Romania, Hungary, Hungary Greece, Greece, um, uh, continental. Uh, and time is up. Very, very well done, Bitten Park. Superb. Now moving on to St Vincent. You also have 20 seconds to name as many car manufacturers as you can. Your time starts now. Um, Ford. Ford. Toyota. Toyota. BMW. Volkswagen. BMW. Audi. BMW. Yeah. Ford. Mercedes. 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 McLaren. BMW. McLaren. McLaren. Ferrari. Um, Tesla. The Mini Cooper. Mini Cooper. All the really fast GM. ones. Uh, Lamborghini. Lamborghini. <laughs> Lamborghini. And time is up. Very, very well done. Very well done, you guys. So, at the end of the quickfire round, we can see that, Bitten Park, you've managed to score an impressive 50 points. Very, very well done. And St Vincent, you also scored 50 points. Superb. So, now you have some points to wager with, it's time to head into our first head-to-head -head round. At the start of each round, I will tell the teams of the upcoming category, allowing them to select their best player for the round. However, your team captains are not allowed to be selected for the head-to-heads. As the selected players move to the challenge zone, I will reveal the subcategory, allowing the rest of your teams to judge their players' chances and stake appropriately. The two selected contestants will have just 60 seconds inside the challenge zone, with the winners doubling their stake, while the losing team leave empty-handed. OK, teams, without further ado, let's play High Stakes. So teams, let's find out what the subject is for round two. And it is culture. Teams, you both have 10 seconds to decide who has the best knowledge of culture to play this round. And your time begins now. Um, 
Okay, time's up, team. Bitten Park, who have you chosen to step up for this round? Chris. Okay, Chris, you're going to be this first round. Wonderful. And St Vincent's, who's going to be playing for you? Uh, we have chosen Anna Marie. Okay, Anna Marie, can I ask you both, please, to leave the studio? So, confident in your players? All smiles. <laughs> Excellent. Well, so teams, to help you, I can reveal that all the questions in this round are about languages and dialect. In this first round, you can stake up to 20 of your points. Remember, the more points wagered, the bigger the reward. You have 15 seconds to decide your stake, starting now. And your time is up. Well, we'll reveal how many points both teams staked at the end of the round. Bitten Park, you're going first this round, so let's bring back Chris. <laughs> Hello again, Chris. Your subcategory is languages and dialect. You have 60 seconds on the clock, and your time starts now. What is the French word for Monday? Unknown, pass. Lundi. What sweets are known... What are sweets known as in America? Candy. Yes. The official languages of Belgium are Dutch, French and what other language? Pass. It's German. Thongs in Australia are another name for what? Pass. Flip-flops or sandals. What is the Spanish word for love? Pass. Amor. Konnichiwa is hello in which language? Japanese? Yes. In Old English, what does the word half mean? Have? Yes. A loony is Canadian slang for how much money? Pass. It's one dollar. The Swedish word spelled H-E-J means what in English? Pass. Hello. Danke means thank you in which European language? German. Yes. Which language is spoken by 14.1% of the world's population? Spanish. Great, your time is up. Very well done, Chris. Please rejoin your team. OK, so let's bring back Anna Marie. OK, so once again, languages and dialect, you have one minute and your time begins now. What is the official language of Mexico? Spanish. Correct. What is the Portuguese word for thank you? Pass. Obrigado. Sidewalk is the American word for what in the Pavement. UK? Pavement, indeed. Neuf is the French word for which number? Nine. Yes. What is the Cockney rhyming slang for stairs? Apples and pears. Yes. How many official languages does Switzerland have? One. It's four. When you point and touch your little finger in sign language, what letter does it represent? Pass. U. Lapin is French for which animal? Pass. Rabbit. How many letters in the, in the Russian alphabet? Pass. 33. English and what other language are Canada's official languages? French. True. A boomer is Australian slang for which large male animal? Pass. Kangaroo. Popty ping is Welsh for which kitchen appliance? Microwave. Indeed. Latin is currently the official language of which country? Pass. The Vatican City. In America, a comforter is what? A duvet. Yes. A two four. The great time is up. Very, very well done. Please rejoin your teammates. So, the results from the challenge zone are in. And Chris, I can see that you scored four correctly. Very well done. And Anna Marie, you scored seven correctly. Terrifically well done. So, how much confidence did you have in your players? Let's reveal the stakes. Bitten Park, you wagered 15 points. And St Vincent, you staked 10. That means, St Vincent, you doubled your stake. And I'm afraid, Bitten Park, you lose yours. So, at the end of that round, Bitten Park have scored 35 points. And St Vincent have 60 points. Let's go straight into round three. So, let's have a look at the subject for round three. And it's entertainment. You have 10 seconds to decide which one of you is going to play this round, and your time starts now. Oh, 
Okay, time's up, teams. Pit and Park, who's playing this round? Emma. Emma's going to play. Jolly good. And St Vincent. Funnily enough, chosen? we have also chosen Emma. <laughs> okay, you've also chosen Emma, just to confuse me. Brilliant. Okay, I love it. Can the Emmas please leave the room? Okay, so we're confident again. So let's see how confident you are. I can reveal that the subcategory in this round is soaps. This time you can wager up to 30 of your points. We'll give you time to lock in your stakes in a moment. But remember, high stakes equals high reward. Your 15 seconds start now. Okay, time is up. We'll reveal your stakes at the end of the round. Bitten Park, you're going first. So can we please welcome back Emma. Okay, your subcategory is soaps. You have one minute and your time begins now. In which part of the UK is the fictional village of Emmerdale located? Pass. West Yorkshire. Mercedes, Carmel, Hollyoaks. Jack, Argentina are all part of which family in Hollyoaks? Mercedes, uh, no, the um, pass. The McQueen family. Who played Lofty in EastEnders? Pass. Tom Watt. What is the name of Audrey's salon on Coronation Street? Pass. It's Audrey's hair salon. In Neighbours, who, who does Sky live with? Very well, it was Harold, her grandfather. What is the name of the famous square in EastEnders? Walford. It's Albert Square. Name one of Edna's beloved dogs in Emmerdale. Pass. Batley or Tootsie? James Corden appeared in Hollyoaks in 2001 as what? A Pass. caretaker. How many siblings does Max Branning have? Two. It's five. How did Nick Cotton's son Ashley die in EastEnders? Pass. He crashed his motorbike. What explosive storyline marked Emmerdale's 35th birthday? Car accident. The Sugden's house fire. At the end of that round, I'm afraid you're out of time. Thank you very much indeed. Please rejoin your friends. Okay, so it's time to bring in the other Emma. Okay, Emma, you also have soaps and one minute. Your time begins now. Max Cunningham on Hollyoaks died on his wedding day, but how did he die? Pass. He was run over by a car. Name one of Cat's sons in EastEnders. Tommy. Yes. Which British TV soap was first screened on Friday the 9th of December 1960? Emmerdale. It's Coronation Street. Who is currently married to Lisa Dingle in Emmerdale? Pass. Zach. Who is Steve McDonald's mum in Coronation Street? Pass. Liz McDonald. What was the surname of the murderer Richard in Coronation Street? Pass. Hillman. In which TV soap did pop stars Kylie Minogue and Jason Donovan appear together? Home and Away. It was Neighbours. Pass. In which British city is the TV soap Hollyoaks set? Pass. It's Chester. Which EastEnders actress also appeared in the film Love Actually? Pass. It's Martine McCudgeon. Whose body was used to fake Jack's death in Hollyoaks? Pass. Eamon Fisher. What is the name of the pub in the TV soap Emmerdale? Rover's Return? It's the Woolpack. Oh. Royal Family stars Sue Johnston and Ricky Tomlinson appeared in which TV I'm afraid you're out of time. Thank you very much indeed, Emma. Please rejoin your team. So, the scores are in, and Emma, you scored, I'm sorry, you got none that round. It was a tough round. And we can see that other Emma, Emma, you scored just the one, but just the one was enough. Very well done. So, did the rest of the team have faith in their chosen members? Let's reveal your stakes. Bitten Park, you put up ten points for this. And St Vincent, you staked just five. Should have gone higher, should have had faith in her. And so we can see the winning team, St Vincent, you're going to double up. I'm afraid, Bitten Park, you lose your 10. So the scores at the end of that round are Bitten Park, you have 25 points. St Vincent, you're up to 65 points. Very well done. Let's go into the third and final head to head. So the subject for round four is sport. And as this is the final round, only one player from each team is left to enter the challenge zone. 
So can both remaining contestants please leave the studios now. Good luck. Okay, so I can tell you that this round consists of questions within the subcategory British Sport. For this, you'll be able to stake up to 40 of your points. Remember, high stakes equals high reward. Your time starts now. And time is up. OK, teams, well, we'll find out your stakes later. But first, let's bring back Will. OK, Will, your subcategory is the sport. You have one minute and your time starts now. Which English team won the Champions League in 2012? Uh, Man United. It was Chelsea. Where is the British Grand Prix held? Uh, Silverstone. Yes. Who won gold in the London Olympics for the 5,000 and 10,000 metres? Kelly Holmes. It was Mo Farah. Oh, Which nationality was the England manager during World Cup 2006? Argentina. He was Argentina. Swedish. Who cried after receiving a yellow card in the 1990 World Cup semi-finals? Say again, please. Paul Gascoigne. It was Paul Gascoigne. Which boxer is referred to as the Pride of Wales or the Italian Dragon? Uh, Joe Carlzaghi. Absolutely right. Where does the England rugby team play their home games? Twickenham. Yes. Who scored the final points in England's Rugby World Cup victory in 2003? Johnny Wilkinson. It was Wilkinson. Which Southampton player scored on his England debut in the summer? Uh, Rick Lambert. Yes. Which British track star's career ended when he was banned for two years because he had taken performance-enhancing drugs? The White Chambers. It was Linford Christie. Which country is holding the 2015 Rugby World Cup? I'm afraid you're out of time. Very, very well done. Please rejoin your team. So... Let's welcome back Mike. Okay, Mike. One minute on British sport. Your time starts now. Which football team won the treble in 1999? Uh, pass. It was Manchester United. What is the name of the cricket trophy that England and Australia compete over? The Ashes. Yes, it is the Ashes. Who captained England to World Cup victory in 1966? Pass. Bobby Moore. Which British Olympian holds the most gold medals of any British competitor? Pass. It's a Chris Hoy. Who won gold for Team GB in figure skating in 1984? Pass. Torvald and Dean. Which team is One Direction's Louis Tomlinson registered with? Pass. Doncaster Rovers. Which British rower won five consecutive gold medals at five consecutive Olympics? Pass. It's a Steve Redgrave. Which darts player has won 14 world championships? Pass. Phil the Power Taylor. Who are the two main football teams in Glasgow? Pass. It's Celtic and Rangers. Who currently holds the women's world record for the marathon? Pass. Paula Radcliffe. Who is, where is the Ryder Cup being held for 2014? Pass. I'm afraid you're out of time. Very well done. Please rejoin your team. So, the scores are in, and we can see that, Will, you scored... Six points, very well done. And we can see Mike, I'm afraid you only got the one. Hard luck. So, after that round, let's see what points the teams have staked. Bitten Park, you staked a big old 25, very brave. And St Vincent, you staked just five. Well, your instincts were correct. So, I'm afraid you lose your stake, Bitten Park, you double yours. The points at the end of round four stand at 50 points for Bitten Park, and 60 points for St. Vincent. With that result, let's play the final round of high stakes. So, St. Vincent, as you are in the lead with 60 points, that means you have 60 seconds, you have a full minute. Bitten Park, you have just 50 seconds, but that's still an impressive number. So, now, either team can increase the time you have to answer questions by selling a player whose value will be revealed in a moment. For example, if you sell a player worth 15 points, you get an extra 15, 15 seconds. So it's all about seconds, and the team with the most correct answers wins and goes through to the semi-final. OK, now, our team captains have a crucial and possibly ruthless decision to make, whether to sell team players or not. By selling, you'll have more time, 
but less brain power. So let's reveal what each player is worth. Bitten Park, Chris, you are worth 15 points. Will, you are worth 20 points. And Emma, you are worth 10 points. St Vincent, Emma, you are worth 15 points. Anna Marie, you are worth 20 points. And Mike, you are worth 10 points. So teams, what's it going to be? You have 15 seconds to decide if you'll sell any of your team for extra time, and your 15 seconds starts now. Okay, time's up. Bitten Park, have you decided to sell anyone? Yeah, we're going to get rid of Emma. You're going to get rid of Emma? <laughs> or you could just be polite and sell her. Okay, that's fair enough. Um, jolly good. And St Vincent? Um, we're not selling anybody, we've decided to keep our Emma. You're keeping the whole team together. Okay, very nice, very noble of you. So, the team with the highest score usually goes first. However, in the event of a tie, which is what we have now, we're going to go with the team to my left first. So, Bitten Park, you'll be answering questions first. I would like to point out that Bitten Park have increased their score by selling one of their members. OK, can you head to the challenge zone, please? So, let's welcome back Bitten Park. OK, Bitten Park, so you have got 60 seconds. You managed to get an extra 10 by selling Emma, so... <coughs> 60 seconds on the clock to answer as many general knowledge questions as you can. Your time starts now. The Old Firm Derby is a football match between Scottish rivals... Uh, Southwark Rangers. Very good. The Titanic disembarked from which English city? Southampton. It was Southampton. What colour are the skins of the Navi in tw the 2009 film Avatar? Blue. They are blue. Singer Katy Perry married which British comedian? Russell Brand. It was Russell Brand. The winner of the UK TV series The Apprentice gets the chance to work for which British businessman? Sarn and Sugar. Absolutely. Which British place of learning is referred to as the OU? Pass. It's the Open University. Who was crowned King of the Jungle in 2013 on I'm a, I'm a Celebrity, Get Me Out of Here? Pass. It's Kian Egan. What is the name of the prospector in the 1999 animated film Toy Story 2? Stinky Peace. It is indeed. In the Harry Potter series of books, the Hogwarts Express leads from which London station? King's Cross. Absolutely. Which country is the only one to hold a Grand Slam tennis tournament on clay courts? Pass. France. Oh my God. I'm afraid time's up. <laughs> Very well done, Britain Park. You can rejoin your teammate. Very good. And can we welcome back, please, St Vincent. Okay, very well done, St. Vincent. You also have 60 seconds, but you managed to keep your team all together. The 60 seconds start now. What are the name of the veins on each side of the neck which drain blood from the head and neck? Jocula. It is indeed. Which creatures are used as, a cro as croquet balls in the novice in the novel, Alice's Adventures in Wonderland. Rabbits. It's hedgehogs. Who is the Roman god of the sea? Neptune. Indeed. Peter Parker is the real name of which fictional superhero? Spider-Man. It is Spider-Man. <laughs> Probably the best lager in the world is the advertising slogan for which brand of lager? Carlsberg? Yes. <laughs> According to the proverb, too many cooks spoil the what? Broth. Yes. Which is the closest planet to the sun? Mars. It's Mercury. It's third one. How many rings are there on the Audi car logo? Oh, four. I'm afraid I have to take the pass. Oh, Which try. British television chef has kitchen nightmares? Gordon Ramsay. Yes. Full English relates to which meal? Breakfast. Yes. Who is the arch enemy of fictional spy Austin Powers? Dr. Evil. Yes, indeed. Green, Oolong, Black and Yasmin are oh, out of time. <sighs> Very well done, St. Vincent. Please make your way back to your seat. OK, teams, you've been tested on your knowledge, quick thinking, strategy and risk taking. And it's now time to reveal today's winners. So, drum roll, please. I'll now re reveal the final point score. 
In second place, I'm afraid, Bitten Park, you were just pipped at a post. You got seven points. Very, very well done. But the winners today with eight points are St. Vincent. <laughs> very well done, St. Vincent. You secured your place in the semi-finals and are on your way to becoming high stakes champions. So tune in next time to see who'll be joining them. Congratulations to you, St. Vincent, and commiserations to Bitten Park. Very, very well done. Thank you to both colleges for participating and to our brilliant studio audience. Thank you for watching. This has been High Stakes.